Hey guys, what's up? Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, I hope you guys are having a beautiful day today. Uh, today, Sunday. I don't know why, but Sundays are my favorite day of the week. All of a sudden, they never used to be my favorite day. But anyways, so I just want to tell you in this video um, three lessons I learned of 2017. Um, I learned so much. But um, I had three valuable lessons that I want to share with you guys. Okay, so, so number one, God knows more about us than we know about ourselves. And what I mean is, like, for my own experience, when I pray, um, and I'm just, I just want to confess something. Like, I have a very heavy conscience, subconscious mind. Um, so when I do pray and I'm asking for forgiveness or repentance or I feel like I did somebody wrong or vice versa, um, I'm trying to tell God the truth about how I feel because sometimes, especially in society, like I don't know how to use my words and I feel like there's a lot of people out there and it always reminds me of like when I'm ba I babysit now, I babysit two little kids, they're both around one years old. And as we're growing up in that time, and it's so cool to see it, but when a kid is frustrated like on the playground or something and they're mad because somebody bullied them or, or you know, they didn't get what they wanted or whatever is the case for the kid. And whoever the adult is says like, Jimmy, use your words, Jimmy. Just use your words. Stop being angry. I can't help you if you know, you don't talk to me. So you gotta use your words and express yourself. And I feel like we should still be using our words. Like we lose that. And that's what I'm saying. God knows more about us. He already knows what's inside of us. He's already inside of us. He knows the truth already about us. Whether you're a good person or you're a bad person, he knows. The only test on this planet, the biggest test on this planet is him seeing how we treat each other. And every day I know people are going through this battle of how they treat each other and how they react also to how they're being treated. We gotta be godlike about it. It's hard and and you know, some people are not living this way. We're living, some people are living in the dark and we need to find the light. <laughs> um so if this makes you feel better, because when I realized this, I felt so much peace overcome me. I felt no more remorse about anything that I've done. I felt like I was truly forgiven when I realized this. Now I stick that in my head and I always ask God to just remind me that He knows more about what's going on. There's so much going on behind the scenes and we actually know what's going on in front of us. So He always knows about you. So. I hope it makes you feel better because it makes me feel better and it gives me a peace of mind every day when I think about that. He knows more about you and he already knows the truth. But the thing is you gotta confess the truth and now I know that. Um, so yeah, like one is God knows more about us than we know about ourselves. And number two is staying grateful through your problems. I learned that in this book, bro. I learned that from this book because it says it was about these parents in India, and they had they had these two sons. Long story short, and the two sons died in a car crash. And 30 days after the funeral, a medium or a neighbor, I'm sorry, a neighbor went up to the parents and told them. Hey, like my sister-in-law went to get a reading done and these two boys were interfered with her reading and they wanted to speak to you guys. So they felt like they knew it was their sons. So they went to listen to the medium. The medium introduced them to another medium and the sons got through to them. And the parents, of course, if your child dies or both your children die, you're gonna be mourning and you know, in an emotional state of suffering. But when the sons got through the parents, they told them, stop grieving our death. We are happy here. And when you're not happy, we can feel it because we are loved ones of yours in the spirit world. And they told the mom to write this book 
they practiced, they got better, and the mother wrote this book that this one of the sons, or both of the sons, was telling her this message for the earth people, and this book was written in the 80s. So, when I was in the book, they're saying, stay grateful, smile through your problems, because this is also a test to let you know that God has so many blessings for you. There's and if we're not acting right, or we're not reacting right, and we're not treating people right, especially the people closest to us, because you know this, we treat our family worse than we treat strangers, and strangers treat us better than they treat their own family members. So stay grateful for your problems, because on this earth life, you're always going to have problems. No matter what it is, you just gotta keep working on it. You gotta keep building consistency every day. Every day, it's an everyday battle to maintain peace. It's an everyday battle to maintain, uh, you know, serenity and bliss. You gotta find it every single day. It's never gonna go away. I'm sorry to tell you, but it's not gonna go away. It's the most likely to leave this planet. Um, so yes, yeah, stay grateful through your problems. Um, I'm working on this. Um, I seem to have less problems now um, in my mind since I've been changing the way I think and I'm starting to live by these things and um, they're really helping my life in a positive way. Like, I don't really find bad vibes I'm attracting. Um, right now I'm kind of alone, <laughs> but I don't, you know, I don't have that many friends and that's okay. It means that your energy is changing, so you're dropping the negative, you're dropping low energy, and you're you're at a higher frequency. And sometimes you don't want to leave those people behind, but you gotta leave those people behind because they're not going where you're going. They're not getting the blessing that you're about to get, and that's why it's it's so important to stay grateful through this process and enjoy the whole journey because the journey and the goal are the same thing. So. Stay grateful to your problems, um, always, and as well as well as much as you are thankful for the good times, you've got to be thankful for the bad times, because if all bad stuff didn't happen to you, there wouldn't be a good coming, there wouldn't be a better coming, there wouldn't be a, a more, um, a more higher you, authentic you, on the other side of where you're at, because we're all here to just grow spiritually. All here to get to a better place. Um, and that's probably one of the only reasons why we're here, out of the few reasons why we're here, um, is to get to a better place spiritually because there's even better beyond the spirit world. You know, there's better beyond this earth plane that we're just in. We're just here to learn lessons and get through these things so that we can get somewhere else. So, yeah, number two, stay grateful for your problems. Number three, I'm still working on number three, but I will be working on this probably for the rest of my life until I master this. I will master this and I will maintain this. Number three is my vulnerability can be used as a strength. And I, as a woman, as a female, and of the feminine divine nature, um, I'm 21 years old and like I, I feel like my whole life I've been trying to learn this lesson and finally figured out and put it into words. Like again, going back to using your words, like I have a hard time using my words or I'd be silent reacting to somebody who hurt my feelings or something like that. And then also inside me being silent didn't help me because then I would just hold on to it and it was like this unforgiving chain of the past and then you realize it's been years and it's following you and you just you just gotta release that um so yeah and and i know like i grew up thinking like my vulnerability um and surrendering really the word is surrendering uh, was weak crying was weak i grew up with brothers and my dad would always be like Crying is, crying is weakness, and my mom also was like that too. She never really showed her feelings until I got older and built a relationship with her. Um, that your, your vulnerability can be used as a strength. And it's not a weakness. It's okay to cry. It's okay to live in that moment of feeling sad or feeling angry. Just let it pass. Let it go through you. Take your minutes. Take your time. 
let it pass and then come up with your words um this thing i've been trying and, and it worked good i've been trying it with the people closest to me in my house um trying to use my words it's whenever i get my feelings hurt and you know i'll either like take my moment or whatever i'll take my breath and this is hard guys this is really really hard for me but um then i'll come back and i will say hey um whatever just happened or you know what you said made me feel like i was unimportant or like i didn't matter in the moment or when you didn't listen or i'm sorry this is hard for me but when um you started talking over me um it made me feel unimportant or when you called me this or whatever it is it made me feel like you know like i didn't matter at that time or like you know, my opinion didn't matter or you know like i felt like i was being attacked or whatever the case may be and then just let it go just see what happens um i tried it on somebody who was close to me and at first when i um he hurt my feelings because i tried something before and um he was just now going through his journey of it and i was trying to give him a tip and he was totally ignoring my tip and you know this is a close family member or whatever and instead of being angry because i'm trying to change my ways or like just being angry and holding it in and just trying to let it go but i never really let it go um and it coming out later you know i, I took my breath i went back to him and i was like hey like when i was trying to give you this tip and, and you disregarded it it made me feel like you didn't care about my you know advice or you didn't, i i felt like i didn't matter at that moment and it really hurt my feelings i just want to let you know and then they said oh i know you like this for your whole life and you gotta get over this thing where your feelings get hurt and blah 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 and so that hurt my feelings even more and so I went to the bathroom because I started cleaning. And um, I just went in there and I closed the door and I just cried for a little bit. I cried for a minute. And I was like, even though it didn't come out the way that I thought it was going to be their reaction, like, I I felt a little bit better. I didn't feel that much better because my feelings were still hurt. And I was like, this shit doesn't work. Whatever. At least I tried it. And then two minutes later, later after, literally two minutes after I finished like, crying and whatever, went back to cleaning, they knocked on the door and was like, hey, like, you know, I'm really sorry I hurt your feelings. Like, um, I'm really sorry. I won't do it again. Um, you know, I don't want to hurt your feelings because I love you. And then that was the moment. Like, it took a few minutes. It took about five minutes. But they came around. And the more you practice that, because listen, after that whole little thing, I felt so enlightened. I felt like a weight was lifted off my shoulders because I revealed my true self. I was vulnerable in that moment, surrendered. And I know it's really, really hard, and you guys might laugh at me about it, but it really, really makes me feel better because I'm starting to use that as a power. It is now a strength to me if I continue to do this, and I will continue to do this throughout 2018, and I will let you know how it goes. But yeah, it was hard and, and I'm getting a little choked up about it because I'm still going through this process and it's helping me and it's going to help me in my relationships. It will help you in your relationships if you decide to take this advice. But yeah, guys, um, vulnerability can be used as a strength with everyone and it will help you. And that is it. Those are my most valuable lessons of 2017. I will let you know how they go throughout this whole process and throughout this journey throughout 2018 and continued on and i really hope you guys like this video if you loved it um please feel free to follow and subscribe down below um you can follow my personal instagram um and you know i'll put all that stuff down below if you guys like it okay uh, i love you guys i hope you guys have a beautiful day and see you later bye